My fiancé had a cat before we started dating. When I moved in, it was an adjustment for him. He'd occasionally scratch or bite me, but we started getting along okay. We ended up getting a kitten together after a few months. Not long after we brought the new kitten home, the old cat started being very aggressive slash defensive towards me, either running into the office and biting me or running screaming into the corner when I entered the room. I didn't grow up around cats, so I didn't really know what to do. So I just tried to stay cool and not take it too personally. Last November, I was doing dishes, and when I was going to put a pan away and saw him in the corner cabinet, which I was needing to access, I thought I could slip by him and put the pan away, and he actually wasn't screaming at me for once, so I stuck my hand in the cabinet. He bit into my hand and latched on and started shredding my arm with his back claws. I tried pulling him off, smacking his head, scruffing him, but nothing would get him to relax his grip. Eventually, I had to smack my arm into the tile for what felt like forever, but was probably half a minute. He fell off and sat there in shock for five minutes. I ended up going to the hospital and needed a two-week course of antibiotics. It took two months for the fingers on my right hand to work properly again. A few of them still hurt when I gripped things. Now I don't hate cats, but like I said, I didn't grow up around them and I am not as enamored by them as a normal cat person would be. Needless to say, this incident was a very tough pill to swallow. I couldn't ask my fiancé to get rid of her cat, he's very important to her and I figured it was better I will just be uncomfortable around him than ask her to give him up. And then it happened again. One day in December I went to grab something off the bottom row of the food shelf, not knowing that he was hiding down there. The same thing happened again, the cat attaches, fights as hard as he can stay attached, my arm is shredded and my hand swells up to damn near twice its size. This time he was hurt in the exchange, his lower jaw was broken. He's on cage rest for a month. Once he's out, he generally avoids me. He still makes noises and runs away whenever I enter the room. He still will sweat at me if I walk by. My fiancé is distraught at the situation so we work together to try and get him to accept me. This last week it felt like it was finally paying off. Two days ago he actually rubbed up against me and let me pet him. Mind you it's because he wanted food and he turned nasty again the second he got it, but it was so nice for the bit it lasted. And then yesterday happened. I was changing his litter and got down on one knee to mix in the deodorizer. He was behind me and my one leg that went back must have shot towards him because he jumped on my leg and started the attack routine. It wasn't easy but I managed to reach behind me and pull him off. I pinned him with my one hand on his upper back slash neck and went to stand up. When I relaxed my hold he scampered into the kitchen, ending up in the cabinet again. I finished what I was doing and went to check on him. He wasn't moving in the cabinet. I went and got my bite-proof gloves and went to check on him. He didn't fight or struggle and he was barely moving. He went limp in my arms and died shortly after I pulled him out. I don't know how it happened. I don't know what I did. I never intended for it to happen. Yes, I was upset. It's been hard living with a pet attacking me at random, but I just wanted him off my leg. My fiancé is completely distraught. She's basically not talking to me and I've been leaving her as to not aggravate the situation. We have a good relationship, our wedding is this month, and I'm afraid this might be the wedge that pulls us apart. I don't blame her for being upset, but I don't know what I could have done differently. I don't want people to think I'm a monster and I don't want to lose her. To whoever ends up reading this, thank you. I feel I have no one to talk to and I don't know what I'm going to do. Like and subscribe for more.